Hello, awesome people. This will be my drama life video, and I had a difficult life. I want to thank everybody who helped me through. So uh, through the difficult times, and I want to thank everybody who helped me. Well, I will start and tell you how. I was born. Well, my mom and dad, they met in the Netherlands. My mom came on a holiday. She is from Poland, and she met my dad in the Netherlands, and they fell in love. And you get where they're going. They married. They first got their first child. Uh, my brother and after a year and a half I came also I was a very uh, lively lively uh, little girl who liked to play uh, outside with the big boys while my brother who was a year and a half older was standing by my mother's side a bit shy and I was really outgoing back then and I even threw a, a stone to a car and kicked a, a teacher <laughs> probably she wasn't as nice uh, because my mom really thinks I didn't did it on purpose if she wasn't that evil but I became more chubbier as I became older and it wasn't that nice to be the chubby kid in the class and I became very quiet, shy and well not because uh, I was a, a chubby kid but because my father yelled and abused uh, our family he was a very bad man well and he was a very stubborn man he didn't want to listen to my mother, so he opened a business. His business didn't uh, go well because he failed and we lost our home. We needed to move to another home. At the moment I was nine and of course I needed to switch school, so that wasn't nice, so I needed to start again. After two months... Uh, we needed to move again because it wasn't uh, it wasn't a house we were owning so we needed to move again to an apartment uh, where there were junkies and they sell literally drugs in the evening it wasn't a safe neighborhood that wasn't as nice for a kid so I didn't play outside as much as I used to he still abused our, us, he yelled and he maybe didn't physically abuse us but he, he did mentally and mentally is even worse than uh, physically. Uh, well in 2008 my grandma died, uh, my mom's mother, she was a very nice woman but she had Alzheimer and she she died in the hospital it was very tra tragic for my mom i still uh, miss her so we needed to go to poland for a week and i was 14 years old and well in in poland we saw our whole family so that was a plus side. We greeted each other and talked about everything and and I missed them and well we saw them we saw everyone at once. Uh, we always see them uh, separated and this was a very touching moment. Even if my grandma died, this came as positive as it could be. But after we uh, came back to the Netherlands, we found out that burglars broke in our home and stole a lot of jewelry from my mom and uh, also 
I broke things. It, it was very depressing to see and we didn't even we didn't have time to grieve. Well, my dad still abused our, us mentally. It wasn't it was crazy that we accepted that. But after a while, I, I became older and I didn't want to uh, hear that anymore. I wanted to stand up for myself, so I uh, I yelled back, and I didn't accept it anymore. So he he stand back for a while. I hated him because he he did such awful things to me and my and my family. So. Even if he lived with us, my mom wanted, didn't want to divorce him. And I asked her so many times, but she didn't want to because she was afraid we couldn't afford to live uh, in a good home anymore. But after a few months, um, we decided to... Uh, to move again and at the moment uh, I was 15 years old and for a side note we moved five times in the same city so I went to a lot of different schools in the same city so it was difficult for me to make new friends and because of my parents deciding to move a lot I needed to make new friends every time I went to another school so that was very difficult for me I became very shy I want to go back to when I was 12, 13, 14 years old because of uh, my dad abusing us I didn't have much confidence left in myself I, I was very depressed and I didn't like myself anymore and I wasn't as outgoing and, and he ruined that he ruined my childhood and in that period, period I honestly didn't want to live anymore every night I cried myself to sleep and ask for God to make an end of my life uh, I will uh, go back to where we moved on my 15th I, I changed a bit in middle school slash high school because I stood up against my father and I started to love myself again even if my dad lived with us, he was a stranger in a house. So we decided to keep kick him out. To kick him out of our home because he was such a depressing person who took us down with him and we didn't want it anymore. So we pressed ch uh, charges against him and moved on because we didn't want to live with him anymore he was so negative and and I didn't need that in my life so we kicked him out it was for the best and I haven't seen him 2010 on the 5th January I haven't seen him since then my brother and me, uh, my brother and my mom and I were very more uh, more happier and we had some rest for now and there wasn't anyone who yelled at us anymore so it was a very strange but nice time but sadly he already made the damage of abusing us and we were depressed. I was depressed, my mom was depressed, my brother I think is still depressed but he doesn't want to admit it. My mom and I decided to go in therapy. We needed to move on, we needed to talk about our 
our past and we needed to move on and went into therapy. Uh, my mom, I don't know when she stopped going to therapy, but I only went to therapy for two years, from my 16th uh, until I was 18. And it helped eventually, and the the therapist, uh, the ps- psychologist, she was very thoughtful and and made me realize how how great I am and I am a winner and and not a loser. She she helped me through it and be more positive and open and try things I wouldn't dare to do and I am thankful for for her and the other therapist who helped me through it. During the time I went to therapy I found out about K-pop and because of K-pop I became more happier and found out about Super Junior and uh, went to some concerts and met and, and saw J- Super Junior live and it was a great moment in my life and I appreciate everything I got and I am so happy at the moment that I can live and have a job and in the end of my drama life video I want to tell you that people please don't don't go ranting about oh I need to go to work or I need to go to sleep or I need to go to school Ugh, I don't want that anymore some people don't have that luxury to go to sleep in a nice bed to, to go to school have an education some people never went to school and and you get a job you you earn money and some people don't have that opportunity and appreciate what you have in life because in a in a moment of time it can all be gone i i really don't regret anything in my life maybe it wasn't that easy to live with a tyrant as a dad but I learned from him that I would never make the same mistake again Uh, I never would make the same mistake of my mom to marry someone I don't even know and I want to appreciate everyone in my life who helped me through everything and some parts, some more difficult parts, I don't want to talk about at the moment in my drama life because I am very ashamed of what happened to me and my life. But even if it was difficult, I am not regretting it because I learned a lot about the situation and maybe if I get through everything maybe I can help other people who are going through the same thing at the moment it feels like I read a dramatic and difficult story in a book I don't realize anymore that I went through all this shit and I am very grateful for my life that I'm going to school that I have a job that I have my family, and I have a home to live in, and I have a bed to sleep in. So be more positive, appreciate your life, love your life. I love you, God. You helped me through everything. I love you, family, and I love my friends who helped me. Even though my drama life isn't as happy as it could be, sometimes life isn't that positive. 
so you need to make it positive and this will not be the end for me so it will be a happy ending eventually I love you guys thank you for watching